It's Brad's Laboratory. I was scrapping out an uninterruptible power supply board one day. I had already used a lot of the parts off the board and it was filled with relays, so I was thinking I would see how much copper was in the relays on the board. As soon as I cracked the first relay open, I noticed the contacts were made of silver. I remembered watching a video where somebody had pulled contacts like these out of circuit breakers. When I watched that video, I thought that the circuit breakers were worth more than the silver. This was a few years ago and silver prices were around 15 bucks an ounce then. Anyway, as soon as I saw the silver contacts, I knew that that was what I should salvage, not the copper. There were six or seven relays on this board and I just ripped them off with a pair of pliers and cracked them open to pull the silver contacts off the copper spring lead. Once melted into a button, it yielded about 0.414 grams or 0.0146 ounces. This is about 37 cents worth of silver, and that's with silver at $25.50. Uh, the copper was around 21 cents an ounce, and so the silver is by far more valuable, even though there's less of it in the relay. A few months later, I'm in my crawl space, working on running some network cables and some coax cables to a TV location. Um, I was playing twister around the heating ducts and I was laying on my back on the dirt floor and something jabbed me in the back. Um, after twisting around I found it was a large relay. Maybe dropped there from when the house was built in the late 80s. Uh, the relay was dusty and a little beat up. Normally I would have packed it away in my stash of relays for use in a later electronic project. But I was thinking maybe it didn't work. It had had a hard life banging around in some HVAC guy's pouch only to fall out and lay in the dust for over 30 years. You know, then I had a thought maybe I should see how much silver I get out of this single but larger relay. So I started taking the relay apart. This, this relay had a screw on the bottom holding the cover on it. Once the cover was off, I used a pair of flush cutters to pry the silver contacts off the copper spring leads. As before with the smaller relays, I noticed there was copper color on the part of the contact that was wedged into the copper lead. I think this is some copper transfer due to the tight fit and the swaging of the silver contact into the spring lead. The relay is a double pull, double throw relay, so that means there are six contacts. Once I have all of them out, I weigh them over a gram. That is much more silver than the six or seven relays from the UPS board. This is like 82 cents. Next, I fire up the furnace and put the contacts into a dish with some flux. A flux will pull some of the contaminants out of the silver. This should remove the copper that was on the contacts. After smelting, the button weighs a little less than a gram, which was expected. I smelt it again, combining the button from the UPS relay and this button for a total of about 1.4 grams of silver, worth about $1.15. A cool little keepsake, and with the price of silver on the rise, this may be worth 5 bucks in the near future. It's Brad's Laboratory. It's kind of crazy and a little bit weird, but it's going to be awesome sauce because it's Brad's Laboratory. It's Brad's Laboratory. So grab a spot, you'll learn a lot. Maybe even how to build a robot, cause it's Brad's laboratory.